Hello friends, in this video we are going to talk about how we can add the custom icon for the conditional formatting in the Power BI. As we all know that Power BI provides the conditional formatting using the icon option. And we can see this out of the box icons available into this box. Now, sometimes there is a requirement where client wish to add their own custom icon within the Power BI desktop. So how we can achieve this requirement? Let's get started. To add the custom icon within the Power BI desktop, we need to follow the four step procedure. The first step that we need to perform is to download the custom icon from the website. The second step is to convert those icon to the base64 images. And third step is to create the JSON file. And fourth step is to import the JSON theme file to the Power BI desktop. So now let's get started each step step by step. So first of all, I have downloaded two icons that I wish to import in my Power BI desktop. So I downloaded this bulb image and this heart image. Now let's follow the second step. So for second step, we need to convert our images to base64. So just search on the Google to convert the image to the base64 string online. So you will find lots of sites available. So open any of the sites. So I'm just opening the first site that is available in the search engine. So now I'm just dragging my images to the online. So I'm drag, drag this file and once you drag this file, it will convert your image to the base64. So this is the code which converted to base64. So you just need to copy this thing to the, your clipboard. Now I uploading the second image as well because it is providing the multiple upload. So I just upload this image to here and it has converted the code over here for the bulb image as well. So uh, my image file are converted to the base64. I'm getting this code from here, right? Now let's follow the third step. The third step is to create theme file. So we all know the basics of theme file. So the theme file is a JSON file which we can easily import to our Power BI desktop. All right. So this is the simple template of that theme file to import the icon in the Power BI desktop. Don't worry about this. I will provide this template file as well as the created theme file. So you can easily import to your Power BI desktop and practice the file. The links are always available in the description box. All right. So in the theme file, there are two attributes name and icons name means you can give any name to your theme file and icons means whatever icon you wish to import to your desktop file you can add by separating the comma over here so for that first of all you need to uh, provide any name so for heart icon i created heart icon and bulb icon i just provide bulb icon and under that in the parenthesis you need to provide two attribute one is description and one is url so description can be anything you can add anything over here and under url you just need to paste the base 64 string url over here so let's go to that website and for heart icon just copy this thing to the clipboard and just paste it over here and same way let's do the bulb for bulb icon as well so for bulb icon, I'm just going to the website and copy this to clipboard and just pasting this element over here. So it has been converted to my base64. All right. So uh, now just save your theme file. All right. So I saved my JSON theme file. Now let's follow last step, step four to import that theme file to the Power BI desktop. For that, go to the home option, go to the switch theme and there is an option for import theme. Just click on it. It will prompt a pop up. So just add your theme file. So the theme was imported successfully. Now go to your custom icon option, conditional formatting icons. Now you can see here heart icon and bulb icon has been added successfully over here so just randomly do this thing add heart icon or add this icon and just click on ok so you can see that your icon has been appeared over here successfully 
So this is how you can easily import your custom icons to the Power BI desktop for the conditional formatting. So if you have any question for this video, you can mail me at thruvinsha16 at gmail.com or you can also whatsapp me on plus 919537981467. Information is available in the description box. You can download the code from the github. The links are always available in the description box. Thanks for watching this video and if you are for the first time for my channel, hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification to never miss any updates from my channel. Thank you so much.